right lane to take the new Brunswick 420 Millerton ramp. They say fear hearts and pain hates. I say pain strengthens. Boat time. Boat time. Well, there's the number four. And he, he tried choking. What a little fellow. He must be hungry. Look at the sea lice on him. Yeah. Fresh in. Schoolies. See ya. There's number five. Feels like a better one. Sorry that I don't lose him. a little bit better. It's a little bit better. There we go. That's a little bit of an upgrade from the last one. That's for sure. Now the question is, is it big enough to keep? Bam, another one. Took it right on the drop. I think we're only in four feet of water, I think. He's just a little guy. Yeah. Just a little baby. Just a little baby. River tide jigs, wearing outfitters, getting her done again. That easy. See you later. Welcome back. Um, where did I leave off on the river? I'm I don't remember. Um, anyways, SD car was full. The other, the GoPro was dead. So I left you off. I think when I caught this one, or maybe one more small one after that. But anyways. Back at home now. We're gonna start this catch and cook before I get, before I lose light because I'm losing it very fast. Now I'm no pro at this. We basically just want to cut in behind here. I'm gonna cut right in behind that door, that fin. Just like that. Then you're gonna make a cut right down there. There's blood. Now, as I said, I'm not a pro by any means, by any stretch of the imagination when I do this to a bass. And then you're just gonna take your knife, 
cut down through, cut right down through here. Woo! Let make sure it doesn't fall off your makeshift table, and don't cut yourself. Once you get them opened up, you can just gently slice down to cut that uh, fillet off. Okay, so there's one fillet there. Not the best one I've ever done in my life, that's for sure. Um, I'm just going to lay that right there. I did leave a little bit of tiny meat there. Uh, yeah. So that's basically her. You flip them over and you do the same thing. Now, once you get all your final trimming done on your bass, geez, well that's interesting. I'm going to put just a little bit, a little bit of olive oil in here. extra virgin olive oil and then you're gonna let your pan heat up what you're gonna do you're just gonna stick your pieces of bass in there mm. that's gonna be good Then you're just gonna add a little, oh, a little bit of salt, not a shit ton like I just did. A little bit of salt, a little bit of salt. Or garlic, I should say. Put some good old salt on her. And some pepper. more garlic. You gotta do the other side, you know. Just like that. A little bit of salt and some more pepper. I think I might have burnt one of these sides. Too bad. It does look done though. Mm. Mm. This tastes absolutely scrumptious. I might have put a little bit too much salt though. Mmm. Mmm. That's absolutely scrumptious. Man, striped bass is just amazing. Tastes so good. Oh. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my meal. This is absolutely amazing. Good day in the water. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel at MBN Outdoors NB for more upcoming content and to Instagram at MBN Outdoors NB as well. So I'll catch you on the next wave. Peace.